high endpoints, now you can set up Postman. Postman you install on your host system just like Burp. It's very similar to Burp, but it's specifically intended to make API calls and analyze them. So here's Postman, and I'm going to try and fit it in the right part of the screen that's being recorded and broadcast. All right, which is there. All right. So uh, let me move the instructions to my other window as before. All right. So um, first, we're going to um, sign up for an account in the BERT browser. So here's the BERT browser. Here's this login page. And here you can sign up for an account. So let me check. I think this window is too big. I guess it's all right. All right. So sign up for an account. All right, so I'm going to call myself demo1 and give it an email, demo at AOL.com and a password. Oh, number, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a server, yeah, a website, but it has web pages and it has an API, which is true of almost every website these days. They have some functionality you access directly through the website, and they also have an API which people access through something like a mobile app. So where you they, grab those uh, web page files and then load it up into your server? Yes. Yeah, that's how I did it. it, it there's an and there's a project where you can install it yourself. Um, yeah, he just has instructions to install it, so it's just a deliberately vulnerable API. All right, so I give it a password. All right, so now I've created an account called Demo1. All right, uses for registered successfully. Okay, so now we want to see the sign up request in Burp. So that's here. You go to the history, and down here we will find a post to our, there it is, post to identity auth sign up. Let me show this request how high we are. I should make that thing move. There we go. All right, identity auth, here's the post, and uh, you can see it's just a post request to identity API auth sign up, and down here it has a JSON information, which is your name, password, and so on. So that's what it looks like. Now, uh, we're going to put that in Postman. So, um, let me get up, here's Postman, and I'm going to hit Plus, that'll open a new collection. Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. In the top center, there should be a plus sign, but maybe I can. Here it is. There, that's all this. Here's my old stuff. It has old tabs here like a browser, and I can close them all. These are old. Uh, don't save. I got all kinds of weird old things here. I'm going to clean them up. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to make a new one here. There. Now I got a nice, clean, untitled request, and I wonder if I can make it bigger. I can. Okay. So um, now I want to build an HTTP request to do the user sign up. It was a post, not a get. So I changed the method to post. Now I put in the URL, which I got from Burp. And by the way, I can just copy it from Burp. Burp cooperates very nicely. Here it is. I can right-click in the request and copy URL. So then I can go back to Postman and paste it in. So there's the URL. Now, I'm going to have to send some data, though. So I have to go to, this is the top method, post to this URL. The data is over here in the body tab. So in the body, I have to change it to raw instead of none. And then the um, change the subtype from text to JSON because remember it was JSON structured data and here's some data in the right format um, let me take a look and see if it goes there yeah it does go there, that's line one alright, and it's all in one line and there is a beautify button here to make it prettier and now I have to use something that hasn't been used before so I'm going to make demo to and demo two here. You have to have a unique email and a unique phone number. So I'll change some of these numbers. Get this thing to stop doing foolish things. All right. 
All right, and the password's fine. So now that's the data it's going to send. All right, and so now um, there's the request. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to send this from Postman through Burp. The two work together very well. And to make them work together, you go to the settings up here. And now you have to turn off on the general tab, you have to turn off SSL certificate validation because, of course, when it makes an HTTPS connection to BERT, the certificate will be invalid. And you have to accept that. So that's one thing you have to do. And the other thing you have to do is set the proxy. And there's a proxy tab. And as you can see, it was originally using the system proxy. Now I've changed it to a custom proxy, 127.0.0.1 on 8080, which is Burp. So now Postman will send to Burp, and Burp will send to the web. So I have both tools working. So if that's correct, then I should be able to sign up here from Postman to make this demo to account. So I hit send. And here's the re response, user registered successfully. Please log in. So that tells me it worked. All right, and now I can see it in Burp. If I go to Burp on the history, here's the one I did in the browser, the identity sign up, and here's the one uh, I just did, which of course is the one that signs up for demo two. So that's the uh, that's how the two work together. So now I can use both tools, uh, whichever one is best. So now um, I'm going to log in. So I'm going to use Burp's browser, and I'll log in with that new account I just created. Um, so I log in with demo2 at AOL and that password. Okay. Uh, all right, I fouled it up. Let me go see what I used for demo2. Oh, it's capital. I made this mistake before. I used capital letters for the name demo, and it seems to be uh, case sensitive. So demo2 at AOL. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. It recognizes me. Good morning, Demo 2. And I don't have any vehicles. This is some kind of car uh, repair shop thing. But anyway, the point is now we can go look and see at the request that load this page. So here I am creating the account. Here I am logging in. Post identity API auth login. And then it loaded a dashboard twice and it loaded the vehicles. These are the three gets that made the page. Now if you look, when I logged in, I sent my name and password up, and the response sent a um, token back. See this long blob of Base64 stuff? That's a JSON token, about which we'll play more later. That is my authentication, authentication token. And now when I send a GET to see things like my vehicles or the dashboard, it will send that along um, with the request there. See right here, authorization bearer and all that garbage. That is the token. And you need to add that to Postman so Postman can send authenticated requests. So go to one of these requests, highlight this blob of Base64 stuff, and copy it. And now you put it in Postman. So let's go back to Postman. And we're going to have a whole series of, um, of requests we're going to make. So I'm going to make a new collection here. And call it demo. All right. And um, then I'm going to add the bearer token. So down here on the authorization tab, which is auth, I think just because my window is kind of small, I'm going to change it to bearer token. And down here somewhere, here it is, I can paste it in there. There's all that Base64 stuff I pasted in. Now, this is something, this is the hardest thing about using Postman that drove me nuts. When you put in stuff, it often doesn't save it, and it doesn't tell you that, and the Save button is hard to find. There's a picture of a floppy disk somewhere. Here it is, where you have to save things. No, that's Environment Quick Look. Somewhere, there's the Save button. Let me see if I can find it for my instructions. This is the hard part. Um, uh, bearer token. At the top right, click the floppy icon outlined in blue. There, it is um, below no environment. Somewhere down here should be a save button, and I'm really not seeing it. Um, let me try shrinking the font. Uh, 
Um, hmm. All right, I've got an, I've got an ex examples here. Let me see. This is the hard part, and it's very easy to forget to save things, and then it drives you nuts. And here I am having trouble saving it, which is very common. I need to figure it's on this row. There's supposed to be a save button. And there it is. For some reason, it was not showing visible on that row, probably because it's not fitting on my screen well enough. But anyway, that's where you have to save this. You have to find that save button, which can be hard to find. And if you don't, then you're not going to be able to do anything because the authorization won't get saved. All right, so now, um, all right, now I can, let's go post to the community to do another activity that requires authorization. So we can um, go to community and make a post. I'm going to put in www, www, okay. So I've added a post. Post created. All right. Now I'm going to go to burp and look at the request that made that post, which is going to be um, this post community posts. Pretty logical. So there's the call that did this, and this thing should move up. All right. So again, it's a post to an API, community API v2 community posts, it's an HTTP request. And it has data down here, which is the title and content of the post. So that's normal. Now, we're going to add that to Postman. So we right-click here and copy the URL. Then we go to Postman and add a request. I'm here in demo. I can add a request. This is going to be... Um, uh, the name of this thing, I think, is Post. Um, send a post or something. Uh, post a comment. I can't remember the official name of this. Post comment. Whatever the name inside that website is. And now it's going to be post to here. All right. Paste the URL in. And um, now if I send it, we'll see what happens. So I'll try sending it. And there's the reply, unexpected end of JSON input. Um, so we're going to have to add some JSON there. And you can see in burp what you'd have to put in. Let me find it here. It's going to have to look like this here. So I could copy that and put that in as the JSON content. That would be uh, body. And we've done this before. Raw. JSON and then put in some content there and now I should be able to save it and send it and now I get a reply with an ID number and a post so that's uh, adding a request to burp or to to uh, whatever that thing is postman and sending a request and you can do more in the same way so I'm going to stop this video